that um, I want to address head on that I've seen in some of these videos that I've heard kind of floating around is that, you know, we were we were legally forced to change our name because we had like scammed people out of money and, and something had happened that, that the government like said, like, oh, you better change your name or we had to do it to like hide behind something. So let's be really clear. All right. So the, the company has been around for, you know, like over six years. Um, you know, we have we have reinvented ourselves a couple of times. Uh, you know, like four or five years ago, the company was called um, Wealth Generators, right? And, you know, in an, in an effort to improve the, you know, the branding and, and really kind of uh, create new excitement. And ultimately, you know, that, that name was uh, just not a really good name, to be honest with you. The company changed the name to Kuvera. And that was a branding change. That was, that was just a, basically a, a brand name change. Um, and then uh, in January of this year, the company changed from Kuvera to iGenius. But there was two really big differences between those changes. The WG change, the wealth generators change to Guevara was more of like just branding. It was more just like, hey, let's, we, we've got a new story. We want, we want to tell people, but um, much of the, you know, the decision makers and stuff like that were the same. The change from Guevara to iGenius was basically a completely new company launch, right? So we, uh, the only thing that stayed the same was the, the company's tax ID number. But there was new people making decisions. You know, the old the old decision makers had, had made quite a few, you know, like decisions that, that weren't good, you know, just speaking really openly. Um, so, so new people were in charge, uh, you know, new software, new products, a new compensation structure. Uh, and so it was it was a it was a new company, and that's why that the name was changed. Uh, you know, companies change all the time when there's really big changes happening. You know, they just announced recently that that Square is now gonna be blocked, right? That's um you know, th those are those are big things. I mean, uh, Google, you guys uh, is Alphabet. Facebook was, you know, changed their name to Meta or, you know, that's going to be powered by Meta, whatever it may be. So that happens. Right. It, it's just something that happens. Um, but just make it really clear that the company that we launched in January is not the company that, you know, Jasmine, I know you were a part of, you know, several years back. It's not the same company. We literally started in January as far as on, on this journey with the, the people that are making the decisions with the products that we are offering completely fresh start and it was a new company that was birthed in January of 2021 now uh, as a part of that you know where people are saying well they had to change their name they were forced to change their name they always cite that there was a CFTC fine that was paid by the company look we don't hide behind that it's in our public filings uh you know so basically the CFTC which is one of the regulatory bodies in the U.S. They came in, they asked us to provide them every detail about our business. They, they basically looked upside down, inside out, the entire company, inside out. And they basically said that at one of our products that we were offering, they, they felt like it was not in line. It was, it was uh, deemed as, you know, we weren't licensed to be offering it. It was a Forex software product that we had, we had contract with a company to create. It plugged in, it connected to people's uh, trade accounts. And they said that it was, uh, you know, that we shouldn't be offering it. So we discontinued it. Uh, we paid the fine and uh, that's that, right? They didn't shut our company down. They didn't send us like a cease and desist. They literally just evaluated our company. And at the end of it, they, uh, you know, we made, we made the changes necessary and we rolled on, right? And the, the interesting thing is the CFTC, the SEC, the FTC, you know, all these regulatory bodies, you know, from time to time, they, they take a look at what a company is doing, especially when a company, you know, starts to do, you know, good things. Uh, and so, you know, we have had other inquiries where they looked at our business and they were completely satisfied with our, our business practices. So those are just two things I want to address. Okay, let's go into another.